post-game press conference. Coach will make an opening statement, and then we will go into questions. Just raise your hand. Give credit to uh, to Missouri. Um, they played well. Um, man, uh, really disappointed um, in uh, the performance of our football team. Um, didn't like the way uh, we finished the ball game. Um, we didn't play smart enough, good enough early in the football game to uh, to win this one. And, and um, you know, line of scrimmage was uh, there was a stark difference. Said it early in the week that that would be a pivotal part of the football game. They were able to run the football. We weren't um, offensively. We didn't. Um, didn't have the efficiency that you need to uh, to go and score points. So, um, disappointing. Questions, David? Josh, you faced Ray Davis when he was the leading rusher in the league and did a decent not job on him. What was the difference today with Schrader? Uh, they created seams. Um, you know, he was able to uh, to make us miss, ran through some things too. Um, at times, just um, gap integrity. Um, you know, they reached us and, and uh, we didn't have anybody in the front side gap. So. Um, combination of, of that, um, you know, you look at, uh, you know, Brady uh, Cook, uh, he made a bunch of plays with his feet too, uh, extended a bunch of, of drives on third down and, and uh, difference in, you know, performances, the line of scrimmage. Austin and Adam. You went into this game still everything you wanted to accomplish in front of you, even needing a little help. Are, are you surprised at kind of how this game unfolded? Um, yeah, uh, disappointed in, in the performance offensively. Um, you know, their structure was a little bit different than, than what we anticipated personnel on, on the defense side. I uh, didn't think we responded, reacted well in the first drive, um, responded um, and reacted to it and adjusted a little bit, um, you know, in the, in the first half. Um, I just really disappointed. Um, you know, we weren't able to continue drives. Um, offensively, you, you look at, uh, you know, the first half, uh, outside of the drive in the uh, beginning of the second half. Um, you know, there's huge penalties uh, that put you in first and 20 or second and 20, um, and uh, multiple turnovers are over on that side of the 50-yard the line, too. Um, you know, tough to overcome. Um, so, <clears throat> really disappointing. Josh, what could you have done more? What could the guys have done more in the second half? It seemed like that was an opportunity to take the game back. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, offensively, just don't communicate uh, early in the uh, the first drive, but the second drive have an opportunity, and um, you know, I think we have a penalty on on that drive, um, turnover on the next one, and uh, game got away. Um, end of the day, um, we got to play smart, smart football, um, and you got to play extremely physical while you're doing that. We did not do that on the offensive side of the football tonight. Steven. So with the first half of the Florida game, when you couldn't get off the field on third down, just the frustration level of the third down. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, you didn't want to be in straight man free against their their wide receiver core. Um, so there was some too high shell there uh, as well. Um, you know, quarterback gets out of the pocket. Uh, sometimes we lost contain. Um, you know, sometimes he's stepping up uh, into the pocket, and uh, we're not able to tackle out in space. So combination of all those things, um, you know, changed the way the game was played early. Eric, Trevor was obviously effective on the ground, but what made it difficult to? He's athletic, understands uh, the game at a really high level, understands the leverage. Um, you know, he's a part of of their pass game too and, and uh, didn't do a very good job. John. Coach, nine penalties, uh, kind of continued trend there. Is there anything that you can do moving forward to, to address it? Because I know we've been talking about this for, for Yeah, huge, uh, huge, uh, huge in the way the game was played. Um, I already said it on offense, first and 20, uh, personal foul on the defense side of the football. Self-accountability, man. Got to play smart. David. One bright spot was uh, Jackson Ross. Can you talk about just what a weapon he has become? Um, did a nice job. Uh, our coverage team, uh, obviously, having the ability to pin him uh, deep and, and uh, you know, put him inside the one. When it's still a ball game, two possession game right there. Um, he did a nice job. Uh, the unit as a whole did a good job. Josh, what happened on the, the Milton fumble where it looked like he hit Dylan's hand? Was that a, a just a mistake on Dylan? Was it just he's supposed to hand it off? What happened? Run pass option uh, at the end of the day. Um, both sides of it got to be in position to take care of the ball and clear the back. Anything else for Coach Adam? 
Josh, sometimes coaches get an indication that a bad night is ahead, maybe in pregame or preparation throughout the week. Any, any of that indication for you this week? No, um, we didn't play well. I um, thought they continued to fight in the second half. Um, end of the game I didn't like because um, I didn't feel like we uh, – we competed the way that we needed to to, to finish it out, but um, <clears throat> did not. I uh, thought they practiced well. Austin, but obviously, you know, Dylan knocked the ball from Joe on that play, but any indication of why they let you start the next play before they blew it dead? Um, no. Um, you know, re replay uh, can buzz down. That's uh, a couple times that that's actually happened this, this year. Eric Glasshorn. Josh, can you walk us through the interception there with Milton there towards the end? Um, I believe it was uh, too high shell. Um, you know, safety breaks on the ball. Um, you know, quarterbacks trusting that uh, that that part of the zone is is emptied out. Thank you, Coach. Uh, players shortly.